Assalamu alaikum dears, myself SLK and from SLK students, I just want to discuss this central line method of measurement. Before doing any calculation for this method, I just want to spend a little time with the basic concept of the method. Remember, especially in quantity survey, we do estimation process for items in palm of one dimension, in palm of two dimension, in palm of three dimension, and of course in palm of number, and sometimes in palm of weight. And by one dimension, I mean just the length or running length. Like you can take example of Chajja. The Chajja calculation is just of course done in running feet or in running meter. This mean in running length, right? And by two dimension, I mean just like area, right? Sometimes we do estimation in palm up area. Like you can say we always do the calculation per plaster in palm up area. The whitewash is also calculated in palm up area. And of course painting is also done in palm up area, right? And by three dimension, I mean just the volume, like brickwork, stonework, blackwork, PCC, and excavation, and something stretch. These all things are done of course in palm up volume, right? And number is just number, right? And also weight is just weight. And now I'm coming back to my approach. If you see everything just does have length in there. Like if you see, the length is just of course a length, right? So this means this would be just uh, the center line, right? Or the length of center line. Or uh, if you see the area, the area is just length times breadth. And don't challenge me about area of a circle or an ellipse and something stretch. But the basically, I can say uh, length times breadth is just area. So the length is there, right? I mean, the area does have length in there. And of course the volume does have also length, like the volume is cross-sectional area times the length. So here is the length. And the length means the center line length, right? Just don't worry, after some time I'm doing just a few examples, right? So I hope uh, you'll understand the examples and you'll understand the basic concept of center line method, right? And the number. The number is just of course length divided by length, area divided by area, volume divided by volume. Like for example, uh, if I have to calculate number of bricks, right, in wall. So um, I can say the volume of wall divided by the volume of one brick. That would be the number of brick. And let me just say if I need to calculate the number of tiles per floor. So I can say uh, the total area of the floor divided by the area of one tile will be just the number of tiles. So, you can, uh, so this is just uh, the number, right? Uh, I mean, uh, the number does have length in there because area does have length, volume does have length. So the number does have length in there. And the weight, of course, also does have length in there because the weight is just the volume times the unit weight or density. So there is a volume and the volume is the cross-sectional area times length. So the length is there, right? I mean the length is everywhere. So in this method, the length will be just meant as the center line length, right? Then how can I calculate the center line length? For example, let me just take this guy as the road subbase. And what if I need to calculate the volume of this subbase or the quantity of subbase? This will be just of course the cross-sectional area times the length. And the cross-sectional area can be written like uh, the breadth times thickness. Here the problem is just to calculate the length of the base or you can say just the length of the given road, right? But here we have a problem. Which one length should I take? The external one or the internal one? It's a big dealing, right? Which one length should I take? If I'm taking the external length, the quantity will be just maximum. Because the external length is maximum in length than the internal length, right? Or if I just need to take uh, the internal length, I can't take this, right? Because if I take the internal length, the internal length is just minimum than the external length. So the quantity will be, of course, just minimum, right? Then what should I do? Of course, we have a nice choice over here, the center line, right? So I'll just take the center line length. Then the quantity will be pretty accurate, right? So while calculating the volume of road subbase, I'll just put the center line length as the length of the road. For better understanding, let me take another example, right? And for this time, let me take just uh, an example of room, right? Let me draw the room if I can draw it better, right? Let's say uh, this is just a room, right? Having size of five times four meter. And let's say the height of the room is four meter 
and the oil thickness is 20 centimeter. So if I'm calculating uh, just the brickwork of the given room, I can say of course the brickwork will be just the length times, thickness times, the height of the room. That's it. If you see the thickness and the height is just a clear thing because the thickness is known 20 centimeters and the height is known 4 meters. So I can plug these values in this formula. But the question is the length. Which one length should I take over here? Of course, the length will be just the center line length. And where is the center line? Here is just the center line, right? This red dotted line just represents the center line of this room or the center line of these walls, right? Now, if you see the path or the way of center line, then the calculation uh, uh, for this guy, I mean, just to calculate the length of this center line is just simple, right? Because the length of this center line will be just, of course, like in this palm. Just the internal length of the short wall, which is of course 4 meters, plus 2 times of half wall thickness. And the thickness of wall is 20 centimeters, so you can take plus 0.1 plus 0.1 is 2 times of wall half thickness, right? 20 centimeter is the full thickness of wall, so the half thickness will be just 10 centimeters, and the 10 centimeters is of course 0 0.10 meters. So I can say the length of short wall will be just of course 4 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 and the walls are of course 2. So I'll just multiply these three guys with 2. And once that's done, of course I can just add the long wall center lines as well. Like you can say the length of long wall will be just the internal length of the room which is of course 5 meters. So 5 plus 0.1 plus 0.1. And 0 0.1, 0 0.1 is just of course the half thickness of the wall. So 2 times half thickness of the wall will be just uh, the one length or you can say uh, the one long wall length. But the long walls are 2 so I'll just multiply with 2 right. We can get of course the length is if you do uh, just uh, short mathematic with the upper thing we'll get of course 8.4 and for the lower we'll get of course 10.4 meters and that's of course the total center line length which is 18.80 meters right now if I put all these videos in the above formula which is the total break of the room I can get of course the break work is the length which is 18.8 meters and the thickness which is 20 centimeters or you can say 0 0.20 meters times the height the height is just 4 meters so we can get of course the total brickwork of the room is 15.04 cubic meter and that's it. So that's just the basic concept of the central line method, right? I hope you understand now. And if you have any problem, let me just know in the comment section. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.